Hello. In this video, we're going to show you how Kong Gateway and Developer Portal can be configured as part of your GitOps operational process. This process helps your developers accelerate the delivery of new functionality because they don't have to manually configure Kong or manually upload new files to the developer portal. They simply commit their files to the Git repository the same way that they do with their code and Kong and the dev portal will automatically be configured. Let's get started. I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to start by showing you an existing Kong environment and a developer portal. Here's the API that I'm going to be changing, this pizza pie order API. You'll notice it's on version 1.5. And if I go into the API, you'll notice that it allows me to fetch an order for a pizza. Um, if I go into Kong, you'll see that Kong actually has this API configured as a service and I'm applying a mocking uh, plugin to mock some responses for it. Well, I want to change the API specification and then push the changes to Kong through my Git operations. So let me go ahead and pull up Insomnia Designer. Insomnia Designer allows me to design and build APIs, uh, starting with the spec-based approach. So here's my pizza orders API. I'm going to go ahead and change this a little bit and say I want to make this version 1.6. And I want to add a rate limit that um, Kong actually applies to this API so that I can limit the number of um, requests that come in. You'll notice when I add my code that I, Insomnia Designer tells me that there are issues with my formatting. Um, so I can fix those using the right spaces. And once that's ready, I can go ahead and save those changes. I can also make sure that right now, when I do send a request in, I can validate that I'm not getting any type of rate limit, right? So let's go ahead and commit these changes now. And I want my GitHub Actions runner to pick it up. So I'm going to go into VS Code and just put my open API spec into this orders YAML file. I'm going to go ahead and add this, um, stage it, and then commit it saying this is version 1.6. And when I push that change, I want to validate that um, my, op my portal job picked that up. And I can also go into GitHub and validate that there's a new version that's being pushed into my gateway. There it is. So what this does is it lets me visually see that um, this portal deploy job is actually being deployed to the Kong gateway as well as the developer portal. Once this is done, now I can actually go back to my Kong dashboard. And if I refresh it, you'll see that Kong is now actually applying a rate limiting plugin. So I don't have to do that in my code. And then if I go to my pizza pie API, you'll see that this version will actually update to 1.6. And uh, there it is. So if I refresh the screen, it updates. So that's it. Now, if I go back into my insomnia designer, um, and I go into debug mode, I can actually um, send requests to my Kong environment. And what I should see is I should get this response back that's being mocked by Kong, but I should also have a rate limit being applied. So let me go ahead and try that. If I send that request in, you'll see that here's the rate limiting headers being applied by Kong. And if I keep sending that request, there's that 429 that I'm looking for that tells me I sent way too many requests. So in summary, um, what this allowed me to do is make a change to my Kong plugin, as well as my API documentation by modifying my open API spec. And the changes were automatically pushed to my Kong gateway and developer portal. Now I can continue testing and improving my code without having to spend a bunch of time touching Kong in the developer portal. Uh, and this just allows me to deliver my services much faster. Thank you for joining.